Welcome back to Federal News Network's Power of Technology series with today's guests, Ingram Micro's Tony Celesti and Dell's Lisa Ortiz. Well, let's jump back in, guys, shall we? So we were talking about the hack stick and the buying busy buying season, but let's also talk about how cloud has changed buying in the government. Um, Lisa, can you maybe talk about how Dell's working to help agencies and also kind of from that OEM and tech alliances perspective? Yeah, sure, Vanessa. That, that, you know, the government, it depends on the agency, right? But a lot of them went cloud first, right? And then some haven't moved at all. And then you have some that have moved into a multi-cloud, but most, as I mentioned earlier, have at least, you know, two public cl- clouds. And so they love that because of the ease of and agility to get the cloud experience, um, to be able to provision quickly, have the resources on demand, make payments over time, right? And so they they like that ease of doing business. Um, cloud first doesn't always mean public cloud only though, right? And often means a combination of public, private, and hybrid cloud. Um, so to modernize, you know, we work um, with we work with all the big providers as well, all the public um, providers. Um, but as an OEM, right, we are looking at how do we help them be cloud smart, right? And then a multi cloud to to build out their multi cloud strategy. Because for those people who want cloud first, right, they have there's agencies that have put so much into the cloud um, that they're either run over with fees, right, um, or they have the wrong applications in there, right. So our job is to help them um, modernize, become, uh, have a better multi-cloud story. And we have a lot of services and capabilities around that. In addition to that, Tony talked about financing earlier, right? For the end of um, buying season, Um, one of our um, solutions, I'm sure everybody's heard about it, but our APEC solution is our portfolio services offerings for for as a service, right? As a cloud, it's simple, it's consistent, um, cloud experience delivered as a service. And we do that with and through our partner community, including Ingram. We are in the process of working on that. Um, and so Apex allows you to um, provision quickly, scale on demand, pay as you go, all the things that they want. Um, but we can help them um, with their full public cloud and how do they make, make the most sense when buying. In addition to that, Apex, when you do a financial model like that, it, it enables them to purchase all the things that they need, right? Including the cyber and what are the applications that are on there? So if we help them solve their mission needs through the financial model, as these budgets come down, um, then they can prioritize what's most important for them. Tony, did you wanna add anything to that? Thanks, Lisa. Sure, I'm in complete agreement. Uh, Apex cloud services, uh, hyper-converged infrastructure to the edge, hybrid and multi-cloud solutions and infrastructure as a service are are all key themes that we're seeing high demand for in the marketplace and partners as well as end customers are really excited about. Utility and consumption models, going back to that earlier comment about 75 to as much as 80 percent is in of the budget goes towards operations and sustainment. You need that flexibility to make the digital transformation work in government and stretch those budgets further operationally. And candidly, we've recently participated in a number of events, the NASA Supply Chain Risk Management Conference, the Coalition for Government uh, Procurements, a uh, spring training symposium or summer training symposium rather. And at, at all of these events, uh, the same themes are coming through the importance of being able to consume technological innovation in utility and consumption models. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like that is the way that agents want to go. I do feel like during the pandemic, we saw like the acceleration of that too. It was just necessary for businesses and government in order to keep functioning, right? There was, they had to really accelerate their use, which led to a lot of these hybrid cloud environments, on-prem, in the cloud, in public, in private clouds. Um, Do you guys see that changing? I don't think that's actually going to go away now. No, I see it more and more increasing um, as the requests come through. There, there's a lot of um, need and desire. 
Um, and as budgets change, um, they have to find a way to um, facilitate prioritizing the solutions, but how do they get more instead of waiting two, three years down the road that they need to look at more and more as a financial model? Yeah. Are there other tools and resources that you guys um, have available to help agencies during the buying season um, that, you know, just to kind of help them get through and kind of speed through it? Vanessa, uh, I'll take that one first. A- absolutely. Uh, at Ingram Micro Public Sector, our teams are all hands on deck. Uh, we've got extended hours of operations uh, so that we're available uh, to our, our partners. Then our finance teams are launching new automated programs to assist our, our partners with credit and financial solutions needs. Our teams are all mission focused. And from a customer experience perspective, they're routed to subject matter experts that work on federal government requirements every day, not just once in a while. And we think that helps to ensure not only a a great customer experience, but them meeting the the demands of the federal government acquisition uh, officials who today are, are struggling with that pinch you asked about early on because of how late the budget got resolved this year. Yeah. I mean, going fast seems kind of critical at this point, you know, for the projects that are, that have to get done. There are some deadlines that are coming up, right. For some of these agencies. So. And and I'd like to add on to that. Right. And and we're doing what Tony's doing and we work in conjunction with what uh, Tony and his team are doing. Right. Um, Hand in hand, fully on staff and extended the other things that we're doing, I think you mentioned tech alliances right previously, um, and I'll go into that in a little while, but um, we have these ready solutions, right? Whether it's, um, you know, the baseline uh, product portfolio that um, or a package solution so that when the customers do get their budget, um, they're prioritized with what is, um, you know, shippable, um, what is a need. They're in a t-shirt size, depending on what they're looking for. Um, and we have them um, packaged up, um, given to our partner community and to our distribution community so that they're armed to execute. Um, we've talked about flexible financing, also you know, having white papers or the documents in our partner's hands, right? Our partner ecosystem is on the front lines with us and, and we're here to help them execute that. We wanna make sure that we fill the customer's need and get it what they want jointly together. It seems like that all those are, you know, individually, maybe small things, but to, together when agencies are trying to actually implement things fairly quickly and test them and get them up and running, that those little things add up to actually a lot of help, right? They do. Thank you. So, Tony, you brought up something that I was going to go to next, which was around customer experience. And um, you talked about it in, you know, the aspects of the kind of customer experience you're trying to give agencies, but let's switch gears a little bit and talk about, you know, that's a huge cheap initiative across agencies as well. It's not that it's not been there, but now, you know, with the White House executive order, there are a lot of milestones and some cross government expectations around customer experience. Um, What are you guys seeing in these efforts? Maybe at least you could talk about how Dell is working with agencies on CX. So if you look right at what the government's trying to do, right, a great, better customer experience, reduce burden and cost, um, really time to execute for all people equally, right? We talked about diversity, um, making sure that we're helping everybody um, out. You know, if you read it, it says that the, the burden imposed over 9 billion hours, which is really excessive, right? And customer service and driving him in progress is, is what Dell Technologies does. It's what we strive to do, right? And so we understand that and we wanna help them be successful. So what we're, what I'm seeing, you know, we have some technologies and solutions that we're seeing with and through our partner community um, that are really helping and supporting the government in achieving this outcome and in a better experience. Um, we talked a lot about multi-cloud. I mean, that alone and getting into the correct um, cloud environment to have um, an experience to improve access, getting data as you need it, um, uh, designing applications being able to um, do DevOps separately 
right? But while still being up and to be able to modernize and improve the outcome. Um, another one of our partners is a huge um, solution offering around robotics and automation. This is a pretty big deal um, because it, it creates a seamless workflow, right? And creating a process of automation um, with analytics, right? To imp improve overall um, outcomes, the experience is critical. That one's really big. And then again, we talked a lot around edge, but if you think about natural disasters and how we solve for them um, and you have, um, you know, whether it's team or whoever um, out at the edge and they have the proper technology, they can get real-time um, analytics um, out there on the edge to help solve it. So, you know, we, we always want to make sure that we're putting forward, as we've been talking about through this whole series, the products and the technologies and the solutions with and through our partner community to help them um, discover this better customer experience. Yeah, the robotics process automation, the RPA piece is a huge piece of that. A lot of agencies I know are looking at that as a way to kind of automate the steps that were a lot of manual processes that kind of slow down that customer experience, right? Um, and that's kind of a, I think, a gigantic part of it, which you alluded to, too. What about you, Tony? You want to add anything? Well, transforming the federal gust customer experience and service delivery, the intent of the executive order was really about rebuilding trust in government. And, and the priorities that, you know, came out of that was putting the public first, you know, improving the customer experience and the service delivery to the American people. And so that's about improving citizen services and access. Citizens want immediate access to information online, not in a line. Yeah. And our, our first responders and servicemen and women need better support and better protection. There is a desire to drive better health outcomes and better care for citizens and veterans. And then we want to improve you know, our teaching and learning capabilities. And all of these things are technology enabled. And we were recently participated in an event um, called Meritocracy. And every government official that spoke at the event, they were all saying the same thing. They are all talking about improving the customer experience, improving the service delivery to the American people, and how critical it was to rebuilding trust in our government and what uh, they provide us. Well, that, I think that's our final comment for the day because we have to wrap up. It's been really great to talk to both of you. So I really appreciate you joining us today. And that's our Power of Technology chat for now. Thank you, Tony and Lisa. Thank, Thank you, you, Vanessa. I'm Vanessa Roberts, and I've been talking with Tony Celesti, Executive Director and General Manager for Ingram Micro Public Sector, and Lisa Ortiz, Regional Sales Director, Dell Federal Channel and Distribution at Dell Technologies. To learn more about the power of technology, visit federalnewsnetwork.com and search Ingram Micro. Have a great afternoon.